Hi guys, how you all doing? I am Laura and today we're making these bow bracelets. They are very fun and easy to make and can be a very nice gift for your friends and family. These are the supplies you will need. First of all, cut yourself two pieces of wax cord about 15 cm more than your wrist length and get some beads with a wide hole. A string one bit on and now split the cords like this, two to the right and two to the left. Insert two more beads in one of the right cords and thread the other curl through. If you wrap the cord around your fingers and pull it down, it is easier to insert the second curve through the beads. Now pull both ends carefully and magic! Those two ends will join with the others. String three bits on and thread the other cord through. Pull both cords to tighten and join those three bits with the other. Do the same on the other side. First insert two beads and thread the cord through. Do the same with the three beads. It is actually very easy, isn't it? Excellent! Now your bow is ready! Now get yourself another cord. It can be 15 cm long, but you may need some more. Be sure you get the correct measurements for your wrist. Come underneath the bow's cords and tie a square knot. Loop the left strand to form like an L shape and take the right strand, place it over the tail and now go underneath and up through the loop. Then pull to tighten and the first half of our square knot is now done. This time, starting with the right core, fold it over the center two cores and then take the left core over the right core, then the right behind the center two cores and up through the loop. Pull to tighten to finish the square knot. Push the knot as close to the bow as you can and repeat the square knot in both sides as much as you need to cover your wrist. In my case, my wrist is 15 cm long, so as the bow is 2 cm big, I needed to make 6.5 cm of square knots in every side. When you are done, Cut any excessive cord you have left over and burn the tails to melt it so they don't come undone. You can also use super glue to make it stronger. Now fold the bracelet over, just like so. Cut yourself a wax cord. It can be 10 cm, 15 cm, doesn't matter. I always cut more than I need and tie another two square knots to make an adjustable clasp. You can choose any other kind of end for your bracelet, but I think this adjustable clasp at the end is perfect if you are feeling a bit cheap. 
and two knots are enough to hold all those cords together, but you can make more if you like. Remember to cut that excessive cord you have and burn the tails. If you don't feel it secure, just put some super glue. To finish those little ends, just tie a knot. You can also slide some bead on if you want a more fancy bracelet. For now, I'm just leaving the knots though. And this is it! What do you think of mine? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more creative DIY jewelry. Hit the bell if you want to be notified every time I post new videos. Hope to see you next Friday in my next tutorial, but until then remember, stay beautiful, smile and be very very happy.